enolapril. Okay, the first second I say enolapril, you're hearing that suffix pril. And you know that because of that suffix pril that we're dealing with an ACE inhibitor, the trade name for enolapril is Vasotet. The indication for this medication is going to be hypertension as well as management of CHF. Let's do a really quick overview of prills, okay? Prills are angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, okay, or ACE inhibitors for short. So what these essentially do is they, they block part of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, right? So our renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is basically a, a biofeedback system within our body that leads to vasoconstriction, elevation of, of blood pressure, and all that. What happens is we have renin released. Renin converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 goes to the lungs. Within the lungs, angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme. And that angiotensin 2 then goes through a few more steps and leads to the vasoconstriction, etc. But what angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors do, what ACE inhibitors do is they block that conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 within the lungs. Okay, so that's where they work. All right. I want you to keep that in mind for just a little bit later. So therapeutic class is antihypertensive. Pharmacologic class, ACE inhibitor. So two of the things I want you to keep in mind with really quick here, all right, is that when we deal with our prills, remember with these prills that they can have this cough, okay? We're, we're working within the lungs, so it's easy to remember that prills can cause this cough. Prills can also cause angioedema. What that is, is really a swelling, facial swelling, severe swelling, okay? These patients can swell so greatly that it actually cuts off their breathing supply, and they can be admitted to ICU, they go through emergency room, they can be intubated, etc., to try to protect their breathing. And that is a side effect of ACE inhibitors, uh, is that angioedema. Other things that I want you to keep in mind with here is I want you to keep in mind that you need to use potassium uh, supplements and potassium sparing diuretics very carefully. Uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors can actually lead to hyperkalemia, because they will lead to retention of potassium. So you really need to be careful with anything that's going to further elevate potassium levels. You also need to monitor blood pressure regularly, especially when in the hospital. Let's say maybe you don't take your own vitals in the hospital, maybe you have a tech that does it, but if a tech goes around, takes blood pressure, um, and you don't get around to administering the nolapril for another hour, uh, that's, really, that's really too much of a time frame. You need to really be administering these medications shortly, very shortly after taking the blood pressure. And then you need to be watching the blood pressure after to make sure it doesn't bottom it out too much. With an allopril 2, you want to administer one hour before meals, okay? And you want to use extreme caution with diuretic therapy. The whole goal is here we don't want to decrease our patient's blood pressure more than we need to. Um, it can lead to this first dose hypotension. So if they're, if they're taking this for the first time, uh, it could lead to this hypotension um, effect. Also, you want to teach the patient how to take their blood pressure at home. You need to teach them parameters for taking the blood pressure and how to take it, and if they should be taking their medication with this, okay? So very important medications because they're used so frequently, but there are a lot of side effects. There are a lot of things to keep in mind with it. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.